future. In order to understand stress, the meaning of stress is I don't like my reality. Stress is an inward response to your outer world. If you think about it, nobody can stress you out, but your chosen response is to stress. Meaning I don't like where I'm at, I, I want to be doing something else, I don't want to be responsible for all of you, but yet that is the condition that my family has set on me to do. So it's always going to go back to responsibility. So when you have a lot of ache here as well, it's a responsibility syndrome. And with that, when we're stressed, it affects the gut. Because there is something called your vagus nerve that starts from the brain and it goes all the way to the gut. So within a matter of seconds, when you're stressed, with just a thought alone, your brain can shut down your digestive system. Now, a lot of people say, let's de-stress. I want to watch Netflix. <laughs> Sorry, that's not how you de-stress. Because stress means you're on survival. And for many people, they can stay in a state of stress for 10, 20, 30 years, 40 years, and it is evident in brain mapping. So when you're in a state of stress, you cannot digest. Not only can't you digest food, you can't digest your reality, and you can't digest life. So a lot of it has to do with the past, everything that we're still holding on to. And this is the funny thing because the first thing we did when we were born was we cried. We let out our emotions. But then society conditioned us to not talk, not to talk about our feelings, to not cry, suck it up, feel it all inside. And that's why for men, the, the number one disease is cardiovascular issues. What does it mean? It just means that even men want to feel they want to cry, but they can't. Because you're conditioned from the past to just keep everything inside of you. You follow me, guys? Yes. So what happens here is this enormous stress. So we have the past, we have the present. Stress means present. And then we go into the future. So everyone's worried about a future that has not happened yet but it will definitely mimic the past that you're running away from. Because you have not dealt with it, you have not really digested it, and you just decided to put things under the rug. You know, you decided to, I'm not gonna feel, I'm just gonna go on with life. So it's very robotic. The way we are is very robotic. And I think, as of the last few years, we don't wanna be that way anymore because it's exhausting. It's so exhausting to a point that we're now seeing that we're getting <clears throat> sick. And like I said a while ago, if your brain, your brain only worries about one thing. Are you safe? Are you okay? So if you're not going to de-stress, you're not going to go inward and tell the brain, I'm okay, I'm safe, that digestive system is very much, it, it shuts it down, and much of your immune system is located in your digestive system. The body's a powerhouse, it's central intelligence. It has its own central intelligence, but your thyroid, your liver has its own immune system. But very much so, what we need is the immune system coming from the gut. What is it? I'm sure you guys have heard of parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system. Fight or flight, rest, repair, digest. A lot of us are in fight or flight. Now it's fight, flight, freeze, and fawn. What is fawn? People pleasing. I will give this to you so that you don't fight with me. I'll give this to you so that you love me. So what is the bottom line? We all want to be validated. We want to be seen, we want to be heard. And women do it so well because as women, we pick up the phone and we can just talk to each other and say, I'm not having a good day. Can I talk to you? But what about men? They don't talk because it's conditioned. It, we're, they're so hardwired 
to, 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 to believe that you can handle everything. So this is where mental health for men, you need to understand that it's okay to talk. It's okay to say, I can't handle this today. It's okay to say, I need to be seen, I need to be heard, I need to be valued, I need to be loved. And it's okay to do so. So that you slowly go into rest, repair, digest, which will be parasympathetic nervous system. So everything is governed by the mind. And the mind has the files of your entire existence. Everything that you've gone through, the mind is holding on to it. Now, your thought is in the mind, but here's the thing, all your emotions are stored in the body. Such a powerhouse the body is because all the suppressed emotions are stored in the gut. Grief and sadness in the lungs, anger, resentment, jealousy, and rage in the liver, and I can go on and on and on. So when we have situations like this, when somebody's not well, we tend to look at the emotional factor, which is what are you holding on to? And what are we holding on to? Anger, resentment. We're holding on to the fact that we didn't get love, or so we think that we didn't get love. Basically, a lot of people ask me, what does every, everyone fear in life? To be rejected and lost. These are the two important things. And once we really sit down and talk about these things, things that matter, more than anything, work. We, we, we are now in a society where we think when we go out for a meal, when we talk to each other, I am so on and so forth, this is what I do, this is how much money I make, and this is how we feel validated. But truth be told, that's actually not what we want to say. We want to talk about how we feel, we want to talk about ourselves, but we just don't know how. So with mental health, what we want to, not just for men, but for everybody, that it's okay to not be okay, it's okay to Talk about your feelings, but don't stay in depression. Don't stay in anxiety. Don't stay in stress. Like I said, stress is when you don't like your reality, when you're in a state of survival. Now, are you in a state of survival? Is there a lion running after you? No, right? You're just in front of your computer, but you're just saying, I don't like where I'm at. So what do we need to do in order to address such situation is connection. And that's why during COVID everyone felt it because connections were cut off. And it's very important to be connected with everyone, to just hold space for each other, to talk about things that matter. And for, for us, I think, to guide men, that it's okay, it's okay to talk about these things. And if you see them, they're very vulnerable, don't judge them for anything. Whatever it is that they're going through, just hold space. Now, when I said I was going to piggyback off that, now, can you imagine if you're in a state of fight or flight, what happens to your digestive system? You're not able to digest very well. You're not able to really hold down food very well, and then comes inflammation. So, Understand this, because I'm also an integrative health. Understand this, that the body is always trying to communicate with you. But you're very much listening to other people, but you're not listening to your own self. This is where I always guide people to listen to your body. You have intuition. Your intuition resides in your gut, but yet you're not listening. You're listening to other people, but you're not listening to your own self. Even when you come to see us, you have to... Tell us what is it that you're going through. A lot of it is stress. Now, stress are divided into three. Number one, emotional stress, the biggest of them all. Now, the emotions are anger, there is grief, and what do people think about grief? It's death, but grief is loss. So even, let's say, for example, you've lost a relationship, you've lost, let's say, your job, take the time to sit and grieve. Okay, that's important, that's the process of life. 
So the, the, the lungs hold all 